Okay, I think we are live. This is going to be the very first Nissan Ramen 10 pack review live stream. I know you're all really excited. <laughs> uh, better put a mute on here. Uh, so, this is the first one that I'm doing. Um, hopefully, it goes okay. I'm going to see if I can get a couple people watching. I'll probably fix the thumbnail later because right now it's like not, <laughs> not what it should be, but it's whatever. This is a lot different than Twitch. Wow, that is very bouncy. Does it even? Oh, okay. I guess it does say how many viewers I have and stuff. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I don't have my headphones on, so I actually don't know if you can hear me or not, but I think you should be able to. And hopefully my camera is not just like bouncing all over the freaking place. Da, 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 da. I got a song stuck in my head from earlier, thanks to my friend. <laughs> uh, I was hoping to get at least one person watching live. If not, that's fine. They'll watch the video after it's done, I guess. I mean, it is almost midnight, so that's kind of how it goes. I don't really know if there's like a way to stop the bouncing. Okay, well, we got to get the ball rolling here. Today we're doing the chili tomato Nissan cup noodle. And... Uh, I mean, I don't really know what to expect. I kind of expect like a spaghetti experience, but I guess we'll kind of see how that ends up being. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I have my good microphone picked up, hooked up, but I don't actually know um, if my if it's like turned up enough for you to hear me. Wow, this is like, there we go. That took some effort to open. Unlike the American cup of noodles, cup noodle these actually have plastic wrap on them and a lot of them actually come with extra stuff this one does not come with anything extra it's just the cup so i do have a pan of boiled water that i just boiled and precariously dangerously carried down the stairs for your viewing pleasure i know you guys all want me to risk my life for ramen and yet again inside we got it looks like a cat this time last time it looks like a tanuki but i think this one looks like a cat and he's very hungry for the ramen and there you can already see there's like some chicken or something in here and uh, hopefully i don't burn myself while i try to precariously pour this water in here wow this actually is working better than expected Okay, and perfect. Okay. Now, usually this takes, I don't know, like three or four minutes. And I wish, I thought that these were supposed to like resell shut for the Japanese ones, but I don't actually know how that works. I guess that's what these tabs are for. Just kind of pinch them and it kind of stays shut. Okay-ish. I can just put, uh, we'll use this one the regular cup noodle. So we're gonna put that there for about three minutes 
and wait for this to cook. And uh, once it's ready, we will try it. I'm pretty excited. I think this one will be a good flavor. Um, we'll see how spicy. I think it's not going to be spicy. Uh, does it say? This one doesn't. This one doesn't even have like the spice meter on it. So I'm assuming it's not spicy at all. Um, do these have spice meters? Yeah, like this one. It says. Sorry, it's got to autofocus. Three out of five. I'm assuming that's the spiciness level. Like, I actually have not verified this, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So I'm like saving most of the ones I am expecting to like a lot till the end. Like the curry, I love. I I I tried a curry one before that was really good, but I heard cheese curry is like the best. So I'm really excited for that one. But I'm actually pretty excited for this one too. I think it's gonna be good. We'll see <laughs> come on we gotta get like one viewer um no i'm so sh extremely popular i would have done this on twitch because i stream games on there but i couldn't find a way to be able to stream my webcam on twitch without extra software so it was just easier to do it on YouTube. And I'm going to I was going to upload it to YouTube anyways, so I guess this makes the most sense anyway makes the most sense to do it this way. So let's see. I'm pretty freaking hungry. I'll tell you that right now. Like I haven't I guess I ate a little bit of food earlier, but I haven't eaten like a ton today, so I'm pretty hungry. Everyone's asleep, so probably no one's going to watch my live stream. <laughs> I just realized my Discord theme is not on. Okay, let's fix that. Not that it matters that much, but... How long has it been? Let's check. I mean... It's probably almost done. Maybe like we'll wait another 30 seconds to see how it goes. But I think it should be done here soon. I'm definitely not a professional YouTuber slash streamer. However, I think my camera is actually pretty good. I just got a mount for the camera, but it's literally just like a giant clip that I have on the table. And it's honestly... The clip itself is a little jank, and, and I'm not a huge fan of this clip. I wish it wasn't this kind of clip. I wish it was the, a different kind. Um, but if I don't touch it, it seems like it doesn't bounce too much, and maybe I can put it somewhere else so it's not in the way, but that's kind of where we're at right now. Okay. This is actually pretty hot, like the top of this, the other cup of noodle, cup of noodle. And the nice thing about this is since it's just getting live streamed, I don't have to worry about my phone randomly stopping the video. So that's kind of nice. The only thing I don't like, which maybe there's a way to fix it, but on the screen, it's re it's like backwards. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Let's open her up. It looks looks pretty good. You can kind of see like some tomatoes and chicken and corn. And I think those are chives. We'll stir this in the most inefficient manner possible. I honestly think I'm just going to use the fork. I'm an American. I suck at using chopsticks. Sorry for those Americans that actually can use chopsticks. I am not one of those people. Let's 
And one thing I'm noticing just like right off the bat is um, it's very red. Like, so you can definitely tell it's like a tomato flavor, but it doesn't, it doesn't really smell like tomato soup. It smells definitely ramen. Definitely smells like ramen. Um, so let's go ahead and do the spoon test. Okay. This is like a little difficult because <laughs> everything is backwards for me, but... There we go. That's good. So you can kind of see like the chicken and stuff in there. I'm going to just try the, the soup and see how that is. It pretty much just tastes... It just tastes like regular ramen. Like, pretty similar to just, like, the chicken ramen, I think, but a little spicier. So it's not, honestly, it's not that unique. Um, we'll see how it is after I actually eat the noodles and the toppings. But so far, I'm thinking I would not buy this one again. And it's not that it's bad. It's just that it's it doesn't have a flavor so far that sets itself apart that would make me want to go, oh, I want a chili tomato ramen right now. But um, let's see. I'll try some of the toppings and the noodles. So there's the noodle. It's, I mean, these are all pretty much the same kind of noodles for these. Come on, autofocus. My webcam is not nearly as good as my phone, but it's still decent. So my friend complained about my slurping, and I tried to explain, you're supposed to slurp. It has to get the air with the noodles to get the maximum flavor, and that is polite in Japan. But, every, of course, in the U.S., slurping is considered rude. <laughs> but he didn't like that. But I gave him a hard time about it anyways. The chicken's not too bad. At least I'm pretty sure it's chicken. It kind of has it's kind of has a sweet flavor to it actually. So I think I'm going to try and get some like noodles and chicken and stuff all together. We'll see how that goes. I feel, as I get more into it, it has more of a tomato chili flavor. Um, mild spice. It's got some spiciness. I'd say it's like, I don't know, two out of five spiciness maybe. Um, I don't know. It might be a little more than that actually. It's, it's, it's a little spicy. I think it's probably spicy enough to justify having a spice meter on here. I don't know why it doesn't have one unless I'm just blind. I don't, I don't see a spice meter, so I don't know. It's not bad. Like I said, it's, uh, I think, I think my, my original, what I said originally still stands. If I had to say out of all, out of the three that I've tried so far, this one is pretty mediocre. 
And I actually don't have the video for the second one up. I'm have, gonna have to get another one of those and redo it because my ramen got spilled, and it was not a fun experience. So that video got axed until I can get another one. Uh, I think the last one was spicy tonkatsu, and out of the three I've tried, the first one was uh, spicy uh, chili, spicy red pepper. That one was by far the spiciest. If it was 5 out of 5 spiciness, it would have been too much. It was 4 out of 5, and it was good. I would eat it again. I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy it again. But if someone gave it to me, I would eat it. It was good. Um, but the ta spicy tonkatsu, that one was like, what did I say? 7.5, 8.5, probably 8.5. This one right here is like, compared to those two, it, it might go up. I doubt it, though. But I'm going to say it's a 4.4. 4. Oh, okay. Out of 10. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying out of 5. 4.5 out of 10. Because it's not bad, but honestly, it's pretty mediocre. And it's not that much better than the normal chicken ramen. So I'd say if you have a choice between this and, like, normal chicken ramen, pick this for sure. If you have a choice between this and like spicy tonkatsu, or I know for sure curry. Even the other one, like if you're not opposed to the spice, the spicy uh, soy sauce with red chili, like all those were better than this one. So that's kind of where we're at with this one. A uh, little disappointed. I thought it was going to be better. It doesn't taste like spaghetti at all. I'll tell you that right now. It just tastes like chicken, ramen, chicken cup noodle with like kind of a little spiciness and some tomato flavor the the chicken was pretty good i'll give it that it has like a sweet flavor but like i said um so far compared to the other flavors this was the weakest one so he is getting voted mm -hmm. off the island anyways um this is matt aka Link, with another cup noodle review video. This time we did a live stream. And uh, thanks everyone that came to view, which is no one because it's midnight. <laughs> but it was easier to record it this way. So hopefully you enjoyed anyways. Have a wonderful day.